Hello folks, good to see you today. Um, I had a very interesting day because I went back to work today. I think I described that um, in an earlier stream. It was fine, just a lot of meetings and whatnot. Uh, the kids aren't quite back yet, they come back later in the week, so we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, meet a lot of new kids. But uh, I was more excited to stream tonight because uh, we're on a mission, okay? Um, we are going to try to beat this game tonight. I kind of tried to beat the game last uh, last time we played. Um, oops, I don't want that. But what we're going to do is we... I found out that in my other stashes, I have two of the best magic cards in the game in real life. And as we know, if I have it in real life, I'm allowed to do the password thing. Here, I have Harpy's Feather Duster. I got this, I think, from this game, if I'm not mistaken, which is really awesome. And I also have the incomparable Rai Geki, baby. This destroys every monster on the field. This destroys every magic and trap card on the field. They're incredible. So we're gonna put them in. All right. So I don't know why I put it down. I need the numbers on the side immediately. And it's too dark for me to read. One, two, five. Hold. Hold up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Give me a second. Okay, I think we're good again. <laughs> that was insane. Um, I'm gonna make it just a little smaller. I don't remember exactly how big it was before. But this this still looks right. Anyway, um, I hit the wrong button clearly. One, two, five. Um, this should give us the all-powerful Raigeki. There it is. I have been trying to get this card in a pack this entire time, but I finally got impatient. Destroys all of your opponent's monsters on the field. So strong, too strong. It's too good. But here we have it, which is great. For us, anyway. And then Harpy's Feather Duster is very much the same way. Um, let's see. All right, there it is. Our friend Harpy's Feather Duster destroys all of your opponent's magic and trap cards on the field. Really, 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 really good. So we're gonna put those in. Mm. Um, let's see, so let's get our magic cards going here. Oh, I'd love to be able to put in a second change of heart. I don't think it will let me, no. That buzz noise denotes no. Um, okay, Harpy's Feather Duster, though, is absolutely going in. Heavy Storm is probably also going in. And then finally, Raigeki. Um, I do probably want to take something out of here, though. Um, let's see. I might still have Dispel in here. I don't remember if I do. Giant True Nade can go. Um, we'll just put that in my trunk because Heavy Storm kind of does what we want that to do and we can get rid of D-Spell as well. Um, okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Um, let's see, Backup Soldier? I don't know if we need Backup Soldier. I'll go ahead and box that as well. Um, happy Monday, Lock Test. Thank you for joining us today. Um... So we are going to try to beat this game today. I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. This is this negates the magic cards. I am okay putting this in the trunk as well. Because we just got those really powerful magic and trap destroyers. Um, 
Okay. So now, like I said, really the goal for this is we have got to try to find the last bad guy. Um, so that way we can get to the part where we beat the game. Um, and basically how I'm going to do that, for those of you who have not uh, joined us before, um, there's nothing really good we can get out of those uh, Duelist Weeklies anymore. Um, for those of you who have not joined us before, usually what I do is I just talk to a bunch of passengers um, until I get the... Uh, the text boxes that say, everyone be on the lookout, these evil card ghouls are here to steal your cards. Um, so once I get that, we should be able to find one of those guys. Um, the only problem is, the last episode that we had, um, we had a couple opportunities. Oh, Millennium Golem. I like the art on this card. It's not very good, but I do like this card. Um, but the last couple tries, um, um, we have not been able to find the correct one that we have yet to duel. Because um, there are five of them, and we need to uh, defeat all five before we can get to the end of the game. And because basically once you defeat the fifth ghoul, you are automatically taken to the end of the game. Or like the last bit. Here we go. This is an urgent announcement. We have all seen this. For all participating duelists, there have been several reported incidents of card robberies occurring in various parts of the city. We ask that you be careful. Reports indicate that members of the ghouls are hidden among passerby. We ask that you exercise extreme caution. Um, and they will give us really good cards if we beat them. So, um, the one guy that we're looking for is the guy that just carries Exodia. That's his entire strategy. Um, and we're gonna see if we can find one. There's no one there. Okay. And if, when you talk to a passenger and there's no text box, you know that one's about to pop up. Like, now. Come on. Stupid Arcana! I am pretty sure this is the third time we've had to duel Arcana. That really annoys me. This is making me think that maybe there's like some threshold we haven't met or something. But I mean, we'll see. Um, hello, Brody! I did not! I actually, I did say Yu-Gi-Oh today, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I can't attack anyway, so let's just chill. But how you doing today, Brody? Good to see you. Oh, you just destroyed my guy. That's frustrating. Um, because one of the things that I have said is that this really does just kind of like... Okay, I can't fight him yet. Uh, this really does just kind of like function as a dual simulator. My gosh, guys. This is annoying. Um... As much as anything, this game is kind of like a dual, a dual simulator. It's more of like um, something that you can play really casually. And I'm just going to do that. And the story is very, very loose. Um, and it's pretty chill, the story. Oh, this is bad. That's fine, though. I got a Raigeki. I got a Dark Hole. I don't have many more life points to mess around with, though. Um, Alright. I like this better. My classic favorite strategy. Okay. And if this is Magic Cylinder, I will still have 100 life points left. So don't be Magic Cylinder. Mirror Force, that's bad. Um, 
So this is actually not going very well. Arcana's not usually very good. Okay, good. It seems that he's really kind of like fired all of his bullets. Um, let's see here. There we go. That's good. I'll make sure to do it in show mode. Okay. Silver Cave Gaming by Brody. I see. It is my best game in general. Oh, wow! He lives in the US, so you live in Scotland like me. <laughs> This is absolutely wonderful, uh, Brody. I love that. That was just delightful and wholesome. Thank you. And we still got this music going. Oh, I got my best magic cards in the world all just lined up in a row. Um, I am just going to use... Oops. I'm just gonna use Raigeki. I did see the last slide. The last slide made it, you know? Everyone gets to see, uh, everyone gets to see all parts of me, you know? The, the pretty and the ugly. Um, giant rat, let's get in, buddy. Alright. So I'm hoping that we can dispatch Arcana here soon. Um... That actually would have killed my giant rat. Um, because again, I'm still hoping we can beat the game tonight. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do my darndest here. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty of firepower to knock this guy out. And then finally, lovely. Yeah, so I really, I like our chances to beat the game if we get there. I really like this card, Insect Queen. Um, it's a very particular card. Weevil uses it because it's a big bug. Really cool episode of the anime. Really cool arc of the anime where uh, Joey is dueling Weevil and he's got a really cool Insect Queen uh, combo going on. But I actually want to point this out. This is Crush Card. Offer one dark monster as a tribute. Any opponent's monster with an attack of 1,500 or higher on the field in your opponent's hand or drawn in the next three turns is automatically destroyed. That is incredible. The only issue is that this card in this game is glitched and it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I would definitely put it in our deck, but again, it doesn't work. Nothing. Anyway. Um, all right, so I know we got our Duelist Weekly. We got our Duelist Weekly. Maybe I'm, again, there might be like some sort of like cards acquired threshold maybe we haven't seen yet. So I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to give Truesdale a try here. Um, basically just because he's really weak. Um, we'll use Heavy Storm to get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Graceful Charity. I was about to say, that's Blue Eyes. And then Multiply. I feel great about that. Um, Rocket Warrior is not my best, but let's see what we've got here. All right, that's fine. Shovel Crusher, that was called? What an interesting card. Mmm. -hmm. Interesting. All right. Love getting Vorse Raider out here. I don't know. Truesdale might have like a mystical elf up his sleeve or something. Okay, that was nothing. It's so interesting. You get those one star monsters that are quite literally, quite literally useless other than just defense mode fodder. Um, all right, he's got more traps up his sleeve. Oh, easy peasy. 
not afraid of a trap card. Let's just set the Jinzo down, babe. Come on. Come on. Oh, I love Jinzo, man. That artwork is so menacing and cool. <laughs> Pop quiz for anyone in the chat or anyone in the comments. What are my two favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards? If you've been watching uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh streams, you should know. But, you know, I won't be mad if you don't. I'm not that kind of guy. Let's see. And then we got Vorse Raider. All right, we should be able to wipe him out here in a sec. Oh, yeah, and that's just going to... Yeah, we're good to go. We'll just go on the offensive here and call it a day on Truesdale. Yeah, having a Vorse Raider and Gemini Elf in our deck is eternally wonderful. Um, okay, the Red Eyes pack can give us a Maneater Bug, which I would love. Ah, Reaper of the Cards. I really like this card. I think it's so cool. Its attack and defense numbers are completely nonsensical. Um, but it's really cool. Really cool card. Not good, but I just always love the artwork on that one. Um, okay. Let me see. I'm going to try this one more time. Um, excuse me. If I can't really get it to go... Because we're going to need some time to duel some people if we get to the end. Because basically, when you get to the end, there's there's just like a boss rush. And you have to beat some a bunch of people in a row. Oh, this is interesting. This Friday marks the start of the KC Cup that will determine the top duelists. Those who wish to participate may do so by joining us in front of the subway station entrance. We'll see you there. Honestly, I don't know if I have ever done that. So maybe I should. Maybe I should do that. Um, let's see. Nothing there. And I genuinely don't know where the subway station is. I think it's down in the bottom left. Oh, I know. It's right there. So maybe it's just going to be right there. Let's try this. All right. Starting tomorrow, the annual KC Cup will be held over a three-day period. Okay. Okay. Please gather in the tournament area. Is this, is this not the tournament area? Okay, there it is. All right, I'm gonna try this KC Cup. I might I might abandon my my uh, efforts to make make the finale make this the finale. Let's see. Because I don't even remember this. Now for the first stage of the KC Cup, Battle City. Are you ready for some hot duels by some of today's top contenders? Okay. Let's meet our first challengers. Or maybe I do have to do this first and I just don't remember. Ah yes, Esperoba famously has the Jinzo. That is actually where Joey gets his Jinzo in the anime, is from Esperoba. Um, because in the Battle City arc, uh, let's lay down Rocket Warrior. In the Battle City arc, um, if you defeat a duelist, you get their rarest card. So the, uh, the stakes are very high. Um, Hitatsumi Giant. I'm just gonna let that one slide. Because I do have Magic Cylinder, but I'm gonna see if there was anything... If I encounter anything worse. Um, I'll be able to counter that pretty easily. Perfect. Yeah, again, I don't know. I actually don't remember if I said this already, but there might be a possibility that I have to do this KC Cup thing before I even can beat the game. Huh. Wow. I feel like after this stream, I'm going to check... Ah, uh, Mystical Elf. I hate that. Uh, I'm going to check to see if there are, like, any thresholds that I just need to meet that I don't know about. Because um, this, it probably looks like this will be what we end up doing. Um, let's... We're going to just get rid of both of you. 
Oh. Oh yeah, man. That is gorgeous. I love love. And I mean love, Ragyaki. Alright, so things are going pretty well. Um, and, you know, the name of the game is just having the best cards. And making sure that you kind of put them in your deck in a way that doesn't, like, destroy you. Um, let's put you in defense mode, actually. Oh, it's fine. Flip it face up, see if I care. Um, don't be Mirror Force. Okay, we appear to be fine. Heck yes, boys and girls, and folks. Alright, so Esperoba goes down. I don't remember where or when, what the deal with the KC Cup is. Oh, I gotta beat Esperoba twice! Oh, that's crazy. Love that. Um, I didn't realize it was kind of like Saturday tournament style. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to go in with a giant rat and kind of save mechanical chaser in case this is like a man-eater bug or something. It's nothing. It is a bug, but a very weak one. Alrighty. I'm glad I saved my mechanical chaser. Oh, uh, that's fine. Sangan is a very interesting card. Um, it's actually one that the Exodia guy likes to use because it helps you get um, weaker monsters into your hand. And all of the Exodia pieces are uh, weak monsters individually. But obviously when you get them all in your hand, you literally automatically win the duel. And that's what you're seeing here. Um, okay, Island Turtle. That's a 2,000 defense monster, so that's probably what that is. Um, oh my gosh. Do I have a Magic Jammer? No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're eating that. Oh, annoying things do happen, though, kiddos. That is for certain. Um, I don't, I would love to not do that, but I know that's going to be an island turtle, so I'm just going to chill. I will take that all day long. All day long. Easy peasy. And it is just so nice having these really good one tribute monsters. Um, let's see. And because the Jinzo is so good, not just because it can negate the effects of all trap cards, it's so good because it's a 2400 attack monster with only one tribute, and it negates all the trap cards. It is an insanely good card. Can it cannot express to you how good it is. Ay 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 with the swords of revealing light. Um hmm. So there's not much I can do here besides end my turn. Okay. Uh Yes, this will make it so that it can't attack, and it also won't be able to. It won't be able to change positions. That's what the spellbinding circle does. Um, let's get you down. I really hate having to wait out the swords of revealing light, but that helps.
Okay. Okay, so he just decided to summon that monster after his battle phase. That's very interesting. Um... I'm gonna see if Jinzo can knock it out, whatever it is. Let's see. What you got, kid? Oh, Serpent Knight! Oh, that is a sick card. It's not that good, but I do love that artwork. I really like that card. Um, um, okay, so it's definitely gonna destroy one of my monsters here. I just don't know which one. Uh, luckily, it can't destroy my Jinzo, which I like. Oh, and here's uh, the Beast of Gilfer's ability. Uh, when it gets destroyed, you can equip it on a monster on the field. So I'm going to equip it to the Serpent Knight Dragon, and it's actually going to decrease its attack power. Um, so now it's going to be in a really nice position for me to kill it. All right. Let's see. All right, you've gone. All right, so you can do it again, but I don't care about it this time. I guess it would have been nice to weaken that a little more, but it is moot because Gemini Elf will finish him off. Okay, so I finally defeated Espa there. Okay, tomorrow's the semifinals. Ah, okay, so we're doing this, kids. This is exciting. Um, I'm gonna try to get that man-eater bug. It proved foolish. Um, okay. So, I'm not doing anything else. We're doing the KC Cup. Alright, who I got in the semis? Okay. Who I got? Ooh! Bandit Keith! We have not seen Bandit Keith. He plays a very pivotal role in the Duelist Kingdom arc of this uh, of the anime. But in this game and in Battle City, he is not quite as featured. I thought you couldn't fight him until the post game. That's very interesting. I love it. Um, I did not expect to see Bandit Keith. I don't remember him being particularly good in this game. Does he only have five cards? Or four cards, that's weird. Um, let's see. Just play you. One face up monster, what say you, Keith? Alright, a reserved reaction. Um, I'm not playing Gemini Elf quite yet because I don't know what he's got face down. I'm playing, hey, you're crazy fish. All right, Bone Mouse, get out of here, Bandit Keith. Let's do it. There you go. That was very exciting to see Bandit Keith. Hopefully we can just completely wipe the floor with him. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, we do have Karibo and Multiply. We'll set that down. Because what Multiply does, if we really need, like, a line of defense and we get in, like, a really tough spot, we can sacrifice our Karibo, and Multiply will just put a bunch of Karibo tokens in defense mode. Um, which is really good when you have, like, no cards to play. Um, let's see, but I don't anticipate us getting to that point, honestly, with Keith over here. And honestly, I probably don't need to keep it in my deck, the Karibo Multiply combo. I can maybe just keep Karibo because it's kind of rare that you use it. Um, but I like to have it, you know, I like to have it around just in case, uh, you know, something goes wrong. Stuff starts to hit the fan, if you will. Uh, let's see. Easy peasy, Oni Tank, get out of here. Alright. Keith so far seems to be proving me right. 
that he was not much to worry about. Um, I'll go ahead and play Dark Witch. I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, that was going to be the winning blow if I was able to keep her on the field, but that's all right. What you got, buddy? Also, you're definitely... Okay. You're definitely supposed to be able to draw... Draw five cards at the beginning. Um... Oh, wait, I can... Absolutely. We're gonna do Dark Hole. I'm gonna destroy my own monsters, but I'm gonna destroy his too. So that way, that just uh, clears the way for me to play uh, my Dark Witch here. And we will knock out his life points. But let me see what I destroyed, actually. Ah, Pendulum Machine. So not a very good card, but one that would have walled our Gemini Elf. Perfection. All right, so it looks like we got to beat Keith one more time, um, and then we'll have the KC Cup Finals. So let's do it. Hmm... Oh my goodness! Okay, so he's got uh, he's got the, uh, the magic and traps, but I got a harpy's feather duster, baby. Goodbye. What did I destroy? Oh, two gambles and a trap hole. Oh, he is a bit of a wild gambling man, is Bandit Keep. Um. Oh, that's such a weird, not useful <laughs> card. Um, perfect. But I am fine with it. I will destroy all the traps I need. Ooh, Mechanical Chaser. Actually, actually a very good card. I'm glad he played it in defense mode. We have that in ours. You're making it too easy, homie. Let's see. We'll do double trouble on the Dark Witch here. This is, this Dunamis Dark Witch is really like the olive branch that this game gives you. Um, because it is just the easiest way to get such a good four-star monster. Like, I literally have three of them in our deck. Excuse me. Let's see here. That'll work. Great, he is on the ropes. Yeah, he ain't nothing, man. I'll go ahead and play, oops. I'll go ahead and play Jinzo, just in case he's got like a 2,000 defense or something. We can go ahead and just knock him out like this. I was worried for nothing. <laughs> so what? I lost. No big deal. I always... F <laughs> I mean, I know he's supposed to be speaking kind of like with an accent. That that just looks like a word that I don't want to say. Um, all right. Well done. You've entered the finals. Tomorrow's the big day. You've made it this far, so you might as well go for the top. The glory could be yours. Um, I want to do Barrel Dragon this time. I love Barrel Dragon. Ah, the Bistro Butcher. This is an interesting card. Um, it's a good four-star 1800. When missing card inflicts damage to your opponent, your opponent must draw two cards from his or her deck. I actually like it when I face this card, because sometimes it just gives me something that I like if it does life points to me. Um, and then the seven colored fish is good, as we know. We have one of those in our deck. As a matter of fact, um, just while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and re retire good old crazy fish. Uh, because a second, uh, a second seven colored fish is going to be better for us. Let's put that in the main deck. Perfection. Um, all right, KC Cup final. Let's see who we got. Ooh. Ooh. 
love this music. Today we'll decide who walks away a winner in the Kaiba Corporation Cup. Is everyone is everybody ready? Let's welcome our finalists. Who we got? Oh. Oh. This is Merrick. This is the guy who is the bad guy of the Battle City arc. And we actually need to defeat this guy in a different context to beat the game. So this is really interesting. I did not know that he showed up this early. I know nothing about this game, apparently. <laughs> wow, your life is nothing if you but duel in the dark games, but I shall let you go this day, for you are not a worthy opponent. Oh, interesting. Such a weird thing to say, Merrick. Okay, so it actually would make sense that maybe you would need to do this before you beat the game. Um, oh wow, I have some freaking great magic and traps. Um, let's bait him out with my Rocket Warrior. Okay, luckily I do have Spellbinding Circle. Um, that's okay. I don't want to do Spellbinding Circle on Rocket Warrior because then when it goes back to my side of the field, I'm still going to be in trouble. Um, okay, so here, I really like Harpy's Feather Duster. Alright, what did I destroy? Was it something good? Mirror Force and Magic Thorn. That is great. Um, I'm going to hold on to that Heavy Storm, um, and I'm actually going to hold on to the Ride Geki. Mm. Let's see what I got here, actually. I don't want to overplay it here. Because I definitely want to hold on to some of those really good cards. Magician of Faith. He can get cha his change of heart back, which I hate. But we'll be okay. Alright. He'll probably use it this turn. Yeah, I figure Merrick might actually be a little bit tough. Um, and this is going to destroy Rocket Warrior, but that's not going to be the worst thing to ever happen. How's it going? It's going um, pretty well. I thought we were going to be able to beat the game today, but it turns out maybe there might be something we need to do before we do that. I don't really know. Um, it's, it's kind of up in the air. Um... But it's, I mean, it's going well. It's been a good day so far. I've been really enjoying this battling in the Kaiba Corporation Cup. Um, it's an interesting part of the game that I apparently forgot about. Okay. Um, here. I might go ahead and play Heavy Storm here. I'm going to. Ah, I see. Okay, Magic Jammer. So that's what that was. Alright, I'm going to hold on to my Dark Witch in my hand in case this is like a Trap Hole or a Mirror Force or something. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I thought that this would be the last episode, but I think there might be some like thresholds that I'm like not meeting or something. Um in order to make it the last the last Yu-Gi-Oh! stream. Um, so I will look into that after tonight, but this is really fun. I'm glad we're doing this. Um, okay, so he's got some traps on the field that I'm afraid of, but he's not playing them, so I'm hoping they are nothing. Okay, great. So now, if all goes according to plan, I'll just draw a card, and I will just win. Hooray. <laughs> Perfection. Alright, so I gotta beat you again. I haven't got the time to waste playing you. Let's hurry up and get on with the next duel. Okay, Merrick. My goodness. You're the one who lost. Alright. So let's see how we're doing here. He might not be that good. I might have just been, like, a little worried for nothing, but, you know... I want to make sure I'm taking my opponents seriously. 
Um, yeah, let's do Graceful Charity. Multiply... Get rid of... Crawling Dragon. Alright. Magic Thorn... This is like continuous. You can inflict 500 points of damage per card to your opponent's life points when your opponent's card are discarded to the graveyard by the effects of magic trap or effect monster cards. I remember. He likes to combo this card with a card called Gravekeeper's Servant. Um, and I'm not going to let him because I've got a Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Um... I feel pretty good about attacking this face down. Let's see. Don't be anything terrible, please. Oh, it's a Force Raider. Goodbye. Lovely. Okay. I've got some great traps. Two of my best traps, actually. Alright. Of course, got my Time Wizard in my back pocket in case, in case things go sideways. That is really just kind of like a, oh, no, no, dang it. All right, not the worst thing. Um, that really is like a get out of jail free card in a lot of cases. Um, my giant rat could bait out a stronger monster. Yes, it could, and I am going to do this. Perfection. Still not incredible to have Giant Rat out like that, but let's see what else we can draw. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, the Bistro Butcher, just like I was talking about. Um, I'm going to let him do this, actually, because now I get to draw two cards. That actually is exactly what I was talking about. It really helps sometimes when they have that card. Um, and now I got my Giant Soldier... All right, so we're cooking. Let's see. All right, I don't have anything that can defeat the Butcher unless... Oh no, that won't do it. Um, I'll just put you both in defense mode and we'll just chill. We'll just chill. See if I care. All right, this is gonna be great because I can pull out my magic cylinder. Oh! That is gorgeous. Um, okay. So I don't have m much to fight the summon skull with, so I'm just gonna kinda have to chill for a second. I'll just put you in defense mode, because I know I'm gonna be fodder for whatever. All right. It's like he knew! That's right. Okay. So I'm not in the best spot in the world right now. I kind of don't like it at all. Um, something I will do. I'm going to chill for now, actually. Um, because if Bistro Butcher does some direct damage... Okay, oh, and he puts it in defense mode. That's not good. Alright, folks, we're gonna need a good draw. Monster Reborn. That could help. What do we have? Okay. What do we got over here? Okay. Um, Alright. We're gonna do Time Wizard, baby. <laughs> Please work! Come on! What do we think? I'm thinking Tails. Tails never fails, right? Tails it is. Come on. Yes! <laughs> that was incredible! Oh yeah, baby! I was just talking about how... Oh, Time Wizard is just our in case things go sideways card. And there it is. Oh, that was amazing. I feel like Joey. 
And obviously this thing's gonna immediately kill Time Wizard, but that's okay. Oh, that's terrible! Ah, oh, I hated that. I really wanted to use Monster Reborn. Um, but that really helped us. Um, what do I have here? Okay, I do have a seven tools of the bandit I can use if he has this, a terrible trap card for us. All right. So, Time Wizard really got us out of a jam there. Um, it's like he knew. That was weird. I hated that. It's like he knew what card to discard from my hand. It's like he knew that that would stop his Raigeki from working. Ugh. All right, at least I have that to attack. Big long combo right now, kids. Because I just negated his trap. Okay. Okay, so that's a Magician of Faith, so I can just destroy that. And he's gonna get a magic card back, but that is fine. Because Seven Colored Fish can finish the duel. Cyber Jar is a crazy thing, but it kind of helped me out in that case. Very, very odd. But we have won the KC Cup. You, I won't forgive you. Never. Any that interfere with my plans must be eliminated. Oh, no. What more can we say? We have ourselves a winner, and now here's your prize. Oh, we did get some really good cards, actually. We got a Magician of Faith. Um, I might put that in our deck, actually. That's really helpful. Um... Uh, we got a Magician of Faith, the Stern Mystic. All face down cards on the field are turned face up. Yeah, that's whatever. Um, Graceful Charity is obviously good. Magic Cylinder is obviously really good. Um, we're only allowed to have one in our deck, but that's okay. How goes the battle? Are you ready to participate in Target Week? Okay. Maybe we can do some Target Week action. Um, so maybe we needed to defeat that before we can defeat the game. I might be mistaken, um, but we'll probably find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so we got to uh, defeat Ishizu and Rex. Um, but before we do that, we're going to get that... Oh, my name. Because we need a Magician of Fate. It. Oh, Exodia. I love some of these cards. There we go. I just kept passing it. Alright, Magician of Face is going to help us a lot, actually. Because um, imagine, you only get, like, one... For example, you only get one copy of Raigeki in your deck. But, you can use Magician of Faith, and that can help you use it again. Which is, we've already talked about how crazy, crazy powerful that card is in general. But being able to use it twice is OP. Or just more than once. That's literally why it's restricted. Um, Alright, so we got Rex here. Let's uh, defeat our target weak targets. We should be able to beat Rex pretty easy. Um, and then we have Ishizu. Ishizu. Let's see. Ba -da -da. This is like the beginner music here. Goodbye, sir. Yes, we don't need a spellbinding circle there. Flying Fish has a great Mako Tsunami card, I always remember. 
I mean, it's not great, but I always remember he has it. I'm going to speed through a little bit on this guy. Blue Wing Crown. That is fine. We're going to spell Binding Circle U so you can't attack. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You were bigger than the whole sky. All right. All right, a Vorse Raider can knock this out. Yep, we are good to go. That is a quick one, kids. A quick one. <laughs> Oh, I haven't been keeping track of our record. Oh no. Okay. I think I remember everything. We beat Truesdale. <laughs> Thank you. We beat Truesdale. We beat Arcana. We beat Rex. So that's three. So that puts us at 55 and 10. And then for the tournament, we beat Espa twice. We beat Bandit Keith twice and Merrick twice. So that's six more wins. So we are 61 and 10. Okay. Excuse me. Ow, I lost. Yeah, man. I would do the Bee Skull. Ooh, Harpy Lady Sisters. I love that card. Ah, oh, Trent! My card! Once again! <laughs> I think I've told this story before, but um, I remember there was a kid on the playground. He gave me this card because he's just like, it's literally your name. I'm like, you're right. I wish it wasn't just like an old tree. I wish it was like a cool dragon or something, but uh, it means a lot to me. Um, let's see here. So we need to fight Ishizu, I'm told. Um, let's see if we can get her for this target week. Um, uh, there she is. All right, now we just got a beater and target week is ours. There we go. Oh, she has such cool music. Um. Ooh. That's a great set to begin with. I'll use Pot of Greed next turn. Okay, easy peasy. Um, I could just use Raigeki, but I might save that. Um, you might really be in dire straits. Let's see. Banisher of the Light, yes indeed. What does this do? This does something crazy. As long as this card remains face up of the field, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play. Um, which means that you can't bring it back from the dead. Because um, if, if it's removed from play, you just can't touch it at all. Um, so I'm hoping she either, like, tributes it out or... No, she doesn't. Okay. And again, I was talking about saving my Raigeki. This is a great reason to because you have a card like that. Um, um, yeah, we'll keep one of my soldiers in defense mode. Great. Oh, Trapple. Nice. Goodbye, Madeline. We are sitting pretty right now. Um, and honestly, I can play you. I can flip you up. Oops, not Heavy Storm. And I will just use Monster Reborn on the strongest monster here. And this should be enough to finish her off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another clean cut victory. That puts us at 62 and 10, which is great. Ooh, I'm gonna do the gold millennium eye. What we got. Oh, I like two-headed King Rex. That's a that's a that's a huge Rex Raptor card. Um, 
Let's see. The Dark Door. I don't even know what this is. Players can only attack with one monster during their respective battle phases. Oh, interesting. That could come in handy in a very kind of niche situation, but still cool. Um... Well, all right, folks, um, I'm going to call it there. Uh, this has actually been delightful, even though I did not <laughs> achieve the goal that I was looking for. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed going through the uh, the KC Cup. Oh, wow, it looks like a couple uh, more people are joining us here. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. I uh, We still had fun. That's right, JJ. Um, I'm literally about to sign off, but I'd love if you watch the, uh, uh, the replay. You can watch on YouTube as well later. Um, but I promise, 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 I'll at least know what we need to do to beat the game next time we play through this. Um, I really, really enjoyed fighting Merrick, fighting Bandit Keith. Yeah, it was, it was really, really cool. Um... But anyway, folks, I will see you all next time. Yu-Gi-Oh! will be back, not next week, but the week after, um, with, with our every other Monday, uh, you know, vibes. Um, see ya, JJ. And with that, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, kiddos.